sorry, ma'am. I can come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. We haven't met yet. Dr. Julia Ogden. Rebecca James. Rebecca James appears because uh, I have a cleaner in the morgue and she's probably been working there before I even had to return because now I'm back in the morgue which wasn't something I planned. When I arrive we have this cleaner and she says a few things to me over the weeks which are really curious. She seems to know a lot about what I'm doing and, and has great insights. Oh no. Not another one of those statue murders. Oh, you've been following the news. I'm no sensationalist doctor but the notion of encasing corpses that would preserve every small detail. I would think it would make your job a bit easier. Indeed, it does. Julie Ogden is so friendly and nice to her, and she actually notices that Dr. Ogden is working on a case that's been highly publicized, and Rebecca's taking great interest in it, so she kind of gets excited and reveals some of her own cleverness. Dr. Ogden. Oh, hello again, Mr. James. I'm very sorry. I will change my hours to better fit your work. I don't recall the previous corner working quite so late. No, don't let me disturb you. I'm just here to collect some papers. I think that Ogden and, and, and Rebecca will be professional friends. I think that Ogden will probably be Rebecca's champion in, in a few instances. I think Rebecca will also prove to be very useful in the morgue. I couldn't help noticing that this bone is at an odd angle. Yes, it seems the poor fellow had a fracture that didn't heal properly. I think that um, obviously playing a period piece, getting to dress up, getting to show audiences what it's like to be a woman and a woman of color in 1904 is really exciting. You know anatomy? A little. Bones are endlessly intriguing. But I should let you go. I think it's really, really important to have characters like Rebecca and characters of other ethnicities on a show because that is very accurate to Canadian history. There was a population of African Americans in Toronto during that time period and I think that not only does it enhance our understanding of our history but it also gives a very different kind of representation on television that we don't actually get to see very often. I believe they may have been murdered within minutes of each other. So both alive at the same time and with the killer. Yes, it seems they may have eaten together. I found the same stomach contents, including sulfonol. Being in the morgue is challenging. I mean, it's a beautiful set and all of that stuff is, you know, very interesting. But it's, it's hard work. It's complex. I'm very intricate in the way that I like to work. I really need to know what I'm talking about when I talk about it. I'm probably the only character that's got to change where I work and everything that I do very often. And for some reason, I have this great life where I get to work between different offices and then out in the fields. What else? He sustained five stab wounds. Look at this photo. According to the report, this is the fatal wound. The knife entered an oblique angle. And that's a running theme throughout the show that we love it when we get to work together. So there are many opportunities for us to do more of that now. They just make that a lot of fun when I have to get down and dirty with the bodies.